Hi, this is Andrea. I just wanted, and Dee Dee, of course, Miss Dee Dee. I just wanted to pop on and give an update. Um, so, let's see, I had my infusion at the end of May. Um, leading up to that, my hand was doing really bad. It had started to get a lot worse um, instead of the slow progression of towards improvement. Um, and so I was really nervous about that. Anytime it backslides, I started to freak out. And part of me thought maybe it was because it was time for me to be getting another infusion. Maybe it was getting worse because the infusion was wearing off. But it turns out, for those who didn't see the other update, um, that it got a lot better with my facial release treatment um, from my friend and physical therapist, Amanda. Thank you, thank you. And this is not the first time that that has happened throughout all of this. And so it's become very clear to me that, yes, I have nerve damage. I have lesions on my cervical spine, but my overall cervical instability and bad posture and tight muscles and fascia and sleeping on my right side and all these other things make it worse um, because basically what happened was I went in for treatment two days before the infusion and miraculously had huge improvements um, in the functionality in my hand that had nothing to do with the medication. One thing that's confusing for a lot of people is this medication that I'm on is to stop future flares. Um, so it's not healing anything. Now it it's helping bring down the inflammation in my body so it's helping you know somewhat but it's not a medication that's supposed to heal the damage that's already done there's nothing for that except time <laughs> um, and sometimes you get your functionality back to 100% and often you do not that is unfortunately the uh, shitty nature of multiple sclerosis so um, so I'm really grateful that things um, have improved so much. I, st I still, um, so I can, I can pick things up. So that's good because like this book, I would not have been able to hold that um, be before. Um, I wouldn't, like I went from being able to hold a glass of water um, and, and drink, although I can tell that the strength is not there, so I have to be very careful, but I could actually drink with my right hand. And before um, that particular treatment, I had lost that ability. I was back to where I could barely hold an empty glass or a tiny, the little Pyrex one cup bowls that are clear. I couldn't, you know, even hold something like that. So, so I have a lot of more functionality back, so that's awesome. Um, and that helps with my attitude and depression and things like that too. Um, because it makes me feel like that I've got some hope because um, I've really been lacking that these last months and so so since then I've continued to um, have slow improvement um, it's really super slow but um, you know I'm I notice little things I haven't been to occupational therapy in a while so I haven't had to actually measure they have you squeeze these things that and do some timed tests and different stuff that can help see the progress. So I, I need to have another appointment to, to know that, um, like with the scientific data, but I am noticing things that I can do that I couldn't do before. Um, but I had another treatment, like I, I go in and get my facial release pretty much weekly. I'm also getting acupuncture weekly. Um, and, both of those have been really helping a lot. Um, but there's, you know, different things are getting worked on in different sessions. And I had another session, it might be about a month ago, with the My Official Release, where she actually worked on um, my skull. Like, we think of the skull as one solid bone, but that's not true. We have sutures, if you've ever taken anatomy or seen um, an actual skull or replica of a skull we have sutures and there's actually some movement and give to that when someone is alive and um, and so she did a treatment that was specifically doing stuff with that it's a hands-on manual therapy um, and that 
gave me like another level of improvement um, from the one that I was already excited about. And so since then, I feel like my hand does not fatigue in the same way. Like I still have issues, so I, I had to do um, a little bit of computer work. Um, one of the first times I've had to do that in a really long time um, yesterday. And so my hand was kind of feeling it from that, but like woke up today and it's back to what it was before. So that's excellent. Um, it's, it's bouncing back faster. Um, so that's really good news. The neurologist and the occupational therapist and everybody seems to think that I'm still going to continue to have this very slow, um, progress and, and improvements. And so I, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to like focus on <laughs> because it does still get really frustrating because there's still a lot of things that I cannot do because the strength just isn't there. Um, Dan still is having to do a lot and he has not complained, um, which is awesome. Um, he's really stepped up with having to pick up the slack on things that I cannot do around the house. And then of course I have a friend that comes and cleans, um, that has been really helpful. And so, yeah, things are still improving and they're also still really rough. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to lie. Like this is not easy, not any fucking way. Um, every day, um, there are struggles and I have good days and even the good days aren't that great. Um, so I don't have a lot to look forward to. Um, I don't have a lot of things I can actually do. So that's part of what I'm trying to do is figure out this new normal and what that's going to look like for me. Um, part of that is I'm going to be trying to make more videos more frequently so that you're getting updates more frequently. And I'm also sharing more of what's going on, um, for myself. Cause one of the things I can't do is write and writing has always been like journaling is like literally my spiritual practice. And, um, it's not the same doing voice to text or using some kind of technology as it is writing with your hand. And so that type of emotional and spiritual processing has not been available to me now for months. And that is very difficult, um, as is not being able to do art, um, like I could before. And so I'm just trying to find new ways and making videos, I think is going to be one of those. So one of the things I'm going to be doing, um, other things as well, but, um, I have this book that's called Healing Your Chronic Illness Grief, 100 Practical Ideas for Living Your Best Life. This is a series. This is the newest one in the series. I used this book um, after Jeff died because they have one that's just basic grief and the loss of a loved one. There's one specifically for children. And there's other topics. I don't remember what the different ones are, but they're all about grief in some way. And so as I go through some of the steps in this book, I'm going to share some of that through my journey. And I've been making notes on my phone. Voice to text on the phone is awesome. So as much as I can do on my phone, um, I'm doing. So the tiny bit of editing that might happen with these videos is happening on my phone now. Um, so thank goodness for smartphones because I don't have software yet on my computer that I can do anything voice to text or any of that. That's still stuff that's being investigated and haven't decided what I'm going to be doing there. So anyway, just wanted to pop on and give an update. Things are still very gradually improving and they're crappy all at the same time. So like everything, it's never clear cut. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to get off. It's already nine minutes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.